Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm in my last year and I like to draw on whiteboards. Uh, the first time I met Sarah, she just kind of walked in the room and didn't say much. She just, she just said, can I draw on your board? And I didn't care. And next thing I know, 10 minutes later, I turn around and she has this amazing drawing of this sleeping beauty, I guess you could say, on the board. Pretty random, but she's a very talented person and she drew several different murals on my board over the past couple months and she's just a really talented person. I prefer doing portraits, um, nature sketches. I like working with my hands so I make a lot of sculptures and uh, you know all the good materials you can use like charcoal, uh, water paint. I don't really get too into the real paint though. The first teacher I drew on their board, I, I believe it was Miss Spencer. Uh, pretty sure she liked my stuff. She seemed to enjoy it. The first time I met Sarah, I was in my classroom after school and it was about four o'clock or so and she came wandering in and I had never seen her before. She asked if she could draw on the board and I said yes and then I kind of got busy working and a few minutes later I looked over at the board and she had drawn like this crazy masterpiece and just snuck out. So I had to do some research and figure out who she was and she came back a few more times without telling me her name and eventually a few kids kind of knew her first name and we kept asking around and we figured out that it was Sarah Patrick one. Uh, since then she's come back several times and she draws portraits of my kids and pictures of what we're doing in class and all kinds of crazy stuff. She's just crazy talented. When I was in kindergarten, I loved drawing and at one point I drew this Pocahontas and I couldn't get the face just right. So I asked this other kid to do it for me and he purposely wrecked the whole portrait. And I was so mad that I literally grabbed this crayon and I chucked it at him. And it, and it hit him and I got in trouble. I realized at that time that if I was willing to throw a crayon at somebody and even get upset about it afterwards, I must really like art.